Welcome to this week's Chinook News! Good morning, Chinook. Good morning, and welcome to the second week of May. We have one of our guests here. This is Miss Maddie from fourth grade to help us deliver the morning news for you. All right, Miss Maddie, we have been focusing on a lot of different skills this year. And one skill that we want to continue to focus on is kindness. Maddie, what does kindness mean to you? Um, helping each other and um, maybe like helping people who are friends. Good. So finding somebody that maybe is by themselves and becoming a friend to them can be kindness. Awesome. And what I want to do right now is jump outside and interview some students about what kindness means to them. So let's jump out there really quick. Be respectful and be responsible. Kind means to me is is respecting other people. Kindness means to me like doing something nice when other people aren't watching and just doing it whenever you want and not and not being rewarded by it and just doing it for other people. Kind to me means being respectful to others and helping others out when they need it. Kind means being respectful and nice to another kid and um, being nice to someone else. Kind means being respectful and responsible and, responsible and pointing people in the right direction. Kind means not pushing others and being not saying mean words to other people. Kindness means being nice to other people and if someone falls down, help them back up. Uh, kindness means like, uh, when someone falls down, you like help them up and ask if they are okay. Kindness means to me is being respectful to others and helping them out when they get hurt. At Clackamas River, we're all kind to each other because of the way that our teachers treat us. Our teachers are one of the, are the best teachers in the world. Hello, Chinooks. You know we've been focusing on kindness, and I'm with Miss Spools, okay? And we want her to tell us all about the new bulletin board about being kind to your mind. So what's going on with this board? Well, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And we've got some things that you can say to yourself all around the brain here if you're having a hard day. Because we know that just as important as it is to be kind to our friends, it's important to be kind to ourselves too. I love that. And can you tell us some of the, I uh, say, uh, words of wisdom that we have on our board? Yeah, uh, I'll tell you my favorite ones. I like the one that says, I can do hard things. And I really like the one that says, when I can't do it all, I'll do what I can. And then my most favorite one is down at the bottom, so everyone can see it. It's okay to ask for help. Ooh, can I tell you one of my favorites? Yeah, please. I love the one on the very top where it says, I am learning and I am growing because I think what we need to focus on too, it's okay to make mistakes, right? Yeah. Yes. And I can learn from that and I can grow from that. And I know as myself, even though I'm an adult, I am still learning every day and growing. So this is amazing. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Kindness! All right, that was awesome. We love to hear all those different kinds of kindness. Hey, happening right now, starting yesterday, is our ABC countdown. That means we are officially in the last 26 days of school. Yesterday, most of the classrooms chose to do art. Please look for information from your student's teacher about what the ABC countdown will look for their class. Some days they'll be asked to dress up. Most of the days they'll be doing an activity in their classroom. So stay in the know with those. That information is coming home directly from your student's teachers. Maddie, do you hear that? I hear music coming from down the hallway. Do you hear all that beautiful music? Wow. Hey. Let's go check out our music room because guess what we have coming up? On May 18th, we have our music concert for our school. So check them out and let's uh, have a great time. We've been 
talking about that music concert for a while. It's like Christmas, it's almost finally here. So remember on May 18th, that is the day that your student gets to have um, some time on the stage and just really get to show off what they've been learning in music. We're looking forward to that. We are. And another important day coming up in May is Memorial Day. There will be no school on May 30th, which is that Monday. So you will all have a three day weekend. Yay. Hopefully we get some sunshine for that weekend. And before we get to Memorial Day, we have been working on our state testing. Maddie, what has state testing been like for you? Um, it's been a little difficult, but like it gets done like if you're just Okay. What flavor of gum did you pick this time? Watermelon. Watermelon seems to be the favorite this year, so we'll have to keep that coming, right? And Maddie, what I heard from you was one of our uh, standards from our six uh, standards of excellence, was that, which is that perseverance, that grit, not giving up and continuing to work hard. So nice work uh, focusing on perseverance and getting your state testing done. Super and proud of you. Doing your best all the way to the end. That's great. That shows us what you actually do know. Nice we have the Golden Plunger and Golden Tray Awards, okay? So, Maddie, for our Golden Plunger, who are our winners this week? Second and third grade kids. Woo! Hey, nice job, girls! And for that Golden Tray, Maddie, who do we have for that Golden Tray? Yay, nice. kindergarten! Way to learn those expectations and show us that just because you're the youngest doesn't mean you can't follow them. Nice work, guys. And now, let's see, we're down to just two chips, which means you have a one in two chance or a 50-50 chance. So, Miss Maddie, you're either gonna be a hero or a villain. Which color are we gonna get today? She's the hero. Okay, so kindergarten and second and third grade girls, stay tuned. You will get your popcorn prize for getting the golden plunger and the orange token. All right, it's that time for birthdays. Let's go. Happy birthday to you. Let's go check out all those birthdays for this week. Happy birthday to you all. Have a super, super week. Enjoy celebrating every single birthday. Okay, and now we're gonna move on to our trivia. We've kind of shifted our trivia questions to revolve around kindness, since that's our focus right now. And there wasn't really a right answer for this one. So we're just gonna draw a couple slips out of our hat. Thank you for all of you that participated. Um, our trivia question was, what does kindness mean to you? Let's see what we have here. Hey, Miss Maddie, can you pick some, pick some yeah, out of here? They're bouncing out of here. Put what do we got? Put in. Okay. Woo! Hair drop. To me, kindness is being respectful and loving about others. 
tell people they missed you. Awesome. And that was Ransom from second grade. So nice work, Ransom. We agree that does show us what kindness is, both to others and what you get back. All right, I have one from Mrs. Cressick's classroom, Xavier. Kindness means being helpful. I love that, Xavier. Thank you for sharing that. I believe I have that same belief. Great work. Okay, and Miss Presley went to a dictionary. Congratulations, Presley. I am impressed that you know what a dictionary is because usually we use our phones now. Fourth grade from kindness is a favor to others, a state of being kind. Thank you, Presley. So you three, we will have prizes for you. Come and see us when you get a chance. And also we do have a new trivia question. Again, this isn't one that always has a right answer, but what we want you to do is write down or draw a picture of a CRE student who has displayed kindness to you. So think back or think maybe it happened five minutes ago about a time when someone displayed kindness to you. And Miss Anderson, we have an event coming up, which I feel is really important. Um, and it goes along with our ABC countdown, which is helpful or helping others. Mm -hmm. And we have a new, we have a drive coming up called, it's called Sundries Drive. Okay. And that's where we'll be helping others. Yeah, and we can do that by bringing in items that might be harder for some people to get. Items like deodorant, toothpaste, shampoo, toothbrushes, soap or dish soap, and laundry detergent are all things that we're looking for in this drive. So on May 23rd, which is our H day, you might be doing something with your classroom, but we're also asking that for H, we are helping others by bringing in these supplies. We'll get more information about it in the s'more because we know that that has to come from your families. So we'll get that out to you, but be looking forward to May 23rd. We're gonna be helping others with our sundries drive. All right, and let's stand, uh, put our hand over our heart, and get ready for that pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, Chinooks, we hope you've had a wonderful week, and we will look forward to seeing you all on Monday.